Can you believe it's already time for another year in review? While 2021 seems to have come and gone in a blink of an eye, there is plenty of action here at Stony Plain. Our downtown came alive with a redevelopment project. We welcomed a new council, and we worked alongside our regional partners on several initiatives like transit, regional facility studies, urban agriculture planning, and the Tri-Regional Plan. I could go on, but rather than listening to me talk, let's take a look at 2021 in Stony Plain. So the downtown has been a focus of uh, town council for well over 20 years. I started um, when realizing that uh, a lot of the, the sewer pipes and, and water pipes underneath the ground were starting to fail. We had manholes, main lines, sewer, sanitary storm, water mains um, that were that were so old that it, it just came to their uh, to their end of life cycle. We wanted to work ahead of any incidents or any failures that we have. It really modernizes. It's quite inviting now. During the construction phase, the road was closed for a very long time, so obviously our customer and everything was affected. But that was all quite temporary. Now we're happy that it's all done. During that time, customers showed us great love and support. This community has been supporting us continuously, even during the road construction. And overall, it was a very successful project. Residents, businesses, and the regional economy will benefit from an efficient and integrated transit system. The concept of a regional transit system has been studied and talked about for years. From on-demand service to regional express services through high-speed bus services, customers will have a more efficient way to reach their destination. The RTSC will form strong partnerships amplify the voice of the region and attract people and investment so we can join the ranks of other top Canadian cities. Hi, I'm Mark McHale, I'm the director at the Stony Plain Public Library and I'm here to take you on a tour of our brand new facility. Heritage Park Park and Ride, just unveiling our transit system. This is more than a decade in the making. A lot of people who work in the city of Edmonton, and now we provide a service early in the morning and late at night. I believe people will want to be have access, they want to have choice, and that's what we're providing. Give it a try, you'll like it. Today we are at Heritage Park and we are celebrating being back at our first event after COVID-19 and uh, this is Summer Sessions with Martin Kerr. We were able to have a capacity of about 150 and it's really amazing to have some real life people here at a concert and to be hearing some real live applause. So we're at the exhibition grounds here in Stony Plain. Farmer's Days has uh, returned. It was really important to the town and to the kinsmen to be able to provide it to the community. I think the community needed an event to come out to to start spending some time with each other again. What a year it was, and we couldn't have made the progress that we did without the support of our partners and our residents. We accomplished so much in 2021, and there's plenty to look forward to in the upcoming year. Improving transportation infrastructure is a key priority for the town. I'm looking forward to seeing the finalization of the design for the South Park Drive extension. This project will increase accessibility to the Westview Health Centre, the lands adjacent, and create additional access points for residents in the surrounding neighbourhoods. 16A and 628 act as corridors into the Edmonton metropolitan region. Our highway development strategy will support investment attraction efforts in the bordering areas and develop key industrial zones. I look forward to Stony Plain growing into a more competitive and attractive location for future investment. Recreation is at the heart of a healthy and vibrant community. Work is currently underway for a new recreation centre design that will revitalize the old town south neighbourhood and increase recreation opportunities to the region. I look forward to advancing this exciting plan to meet the needs of our ever-growing community. 
Supporting future generations by providing high quality learning environment is a key priority for Stony Plain. Together with local and regional partners, we're excited to be working on the new Stony Plain Central School and the town's first Francophone Starter School. I look forward to seeing our local students thrive. I'm looking forward to working with Alberta Transportation in a continuing relationship on Highway 628 and 779. Rehabilitation of these highways is essential to create routes of safety for our Stony Plain residents and connection to the greater Edmonton metropolitan region. With Stony Plain FCSS settling into their new role as the Community and Social Development Department, I am looking forward to working together to create a safer, more inclusive community. By uniting social well-being into our strategic framework, we can ensure that all residents feel welcome and supported. There you have it. Another year has come and gone and new opportunities, and maybe some new challenges, are left in its wake. Whatever 2022 has in store for Stony Plain, we will face it together. Imagine all the possibilities working alongside our partners to make 2022 another year of prosperity and growth in our region.